This is Andy Purrell of Boxing Social in association with Betfred. It's the morning after uh, an unbelievable fight from just a fan's perspective, Mick, between yourself and Lee Wood. First, obviously, it's good to see you back out of hospital and from our brief chat, everything's OK. Just for those who will be concerned, can you just reaffirm everybody? You know, you've had your results back and there's nothing for anybody to be worried about on that front. I was, I was scanned. Um, everything was clear. I was, I was released very quickly from hospital. <laughs> Um, I got a shoulder scan as well because my shoulder is a bit sore. But uh, no, everything is alright. All clear, all scans are clear. Um, that's but kick your crumbles, isn't it? Mick, let's just, I know I want to keep this brief because you're going to go and enjoy the rest of this day, but just talk to me about the fight to start off with that first round. It couldn't have started off any better for yourself, dropping Lee with the last punch of that first bout of the first fight, the first bout round. Yeah, I wish it had happened 20 seconds sooner. I think if it had have, you know, if it could have been over. Um, but it is what it is. Lee's, like I said before, and I said in the build up, he's tough, very tough. He has a big heart and a big set of balls. And he showed them last night. Um, so fair play to him. How did you see before? I saw you put a tweet out saying you've watched it back since you've been out of hospital. So how have you how have you seen the fight now? I had me three rounds of gun the last. I don't think the eleven was not good either. So it wouldn't have been. I was three rounds up, four rounds up kind of the last time because I wouldn't have a ten around against me. You, you just said to me off camera that you went into the final round believing you had to get either a knockdown or a stoppage. Talk to me about that because the consensus around me was that you was ahead at that time. Yeah, listen, I felt I was ahead, but I, I knew it was kind of coming close. Um, with the fucking slip, when I slipped, and they counted as knockdown, I was like, bastards, I need to fucking do something this last round. And you know, the cop man, I suppose, saying, he says, you, you need to win this round to win the fight, so... I actually did need to win the round to win the fight as well. Like so he was he was quite accurate on that. But I thought I was ahead. Um but you know what right. I'll be honest, I can't really remember too much of the last round, but I remember the start of it that I came out and started kinda of boxing, kinda of pressure a little bit and then, you know, fatigue kicks in, you know, he lands. I, I try to do a defensive move and I'm not looking where his shot's coming. And I think that's why I got knocked out. Because Every shot that was, was coming. Seven ten. No, I've I've left it up for seven ten. Make a comment. Cheers. Um, every shot, that, every shot that did land, um, which I did see, had an effect on me. Um, so it was the one I didn't see, and they say that one of the shots you don't see was the one that did the damage. And you know, in fairness, it was true. He landed a great shot. Um, you know, he pulled out the hill Mary and he got it. So, as I said before, I have that much respect for Lee. Um, Fair play to him, he, he done the job. And I'm gracious in the feet, you know, as, as I would be in, in victory. Was he as heavy handed as what people said he was beforehand? No, I don't believe he was. He could punch hard. I've been in a hard puncher before, so I know what a hard puncher feels like. But he could punch hard, but it wasn't that shock power which everybody seemed to, seemed to say. Um, but he definitely has heavy hands. What did you make of the scorecards when you found out you was ahead by three on one and then on the other two up by one, which would have meant you needed to win the last round to have had a win otherwise if Lee would have won without even a knockdown, if he'd have just won a ten nine, a majority draw would have been the case. Um a bit shit, I am honest. But listen, it didn't matter because it didn't go that way. And there's nothing they could do about it, so no, fair play to Lee, he done the job. Um I came up short. But 100% I want the rematch, 100%. I think I've earned a rematch from that fight. Um, I know we're talking about potential unifications and stuff, but he needs to be super champion to have a unification. And, you know, whether or not he's going to fight Leo Santa Cruz or if that fight can even happen, I don't know. Uh, I, don't think, I, th I think it's, it's a logical one, I think, as well. A fight between me... A rematch between me and Lee could do probably bigger numbers in terms of the money than probably a fit between him and Kiko or him, him or Josh. That was going to be my next question. You just said you'd be happy for a rematch. Would you do it at the city ground, the Nottingham Forest Football Stadium? I'd do it at the city ground and you know, I'd be the guy taking the lesser first this time. Uh, I just read to, he's the champion and proven it. he beat me. Um, 
that's why we have to go in kind of Mick, just to find on one, obviously you had an unbelievable support last night, your travelling fans coming over. You've always had it throughout your career, but just a word on those. It's just amazing, mate. Amazing. Like, you went in the night in the marina there and you thought we were in Belfast. It was it was unbelievable. Blown away by it. Um, amazing. You know, really, really grateful. Really thankful for it. Very quickly, do you remember anything from the final round? Just finished. This is we're just finishing now. Literally, like thirty that's seconds. That's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you remember anything from the phone around me? Yeah, I just remember me getting flattened. <laughs> yeah, so you know, you just landed with a good shot. Um, I watched it back, so I kind of know what happened. Um, do I remember it firsthand? Not really. To be honest, it was a minute in it, so it was a grueling fight. No, I don't remember it. It was a great shot. Um, Say the temple. Um, put me through the rope. If I was probably on a fucking canvas somewhere, it would have probably been a safer. Probably, probably would have been able to recover and get up. But I think I fell out and hit the ground, so it is what it is. Listen, can't swim with it getting wet, so these are things that happen. It's boxing. No. It's a Mick, first above all else, I'm glad to see you okay today, and I'm sure we'll see you back in the ring and get another crack at a world title opportunity soon enough. 100%, 100%. I appreciate it. Thank you as always.